Hi guys, my name is Gina Jemskill and welcome to a new series. It's Kitty Powers Love Life. If you remember, quite a while ago I was playing Kitty Powers Matchmaker and I've just seen that this new game, Kitty Powers Love Life, has come out, I think maybe it's about a week ago now that it came out, and I am super excited to give it a go And because I really did like Matchmaker. I did play Matchmaker on the PC, on Steam, but I have got this Kitty Powers Love Life as an app instead. I'm much more of a mobile app game player as opposed to on the PC or on my Mac, and so I figured that made more sense. If you do want to go ahead and get this game, I will put a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and have a little look at it but let's get started so start a game Ooh, okay here's kitty now, i am pretty sure that in the app version kitty doesn't speak which is pretty disappointing because she does in the steam version it may be something to do with settings or something but i'm not entirely sure but hopefully i mean let me know down below if you are playing this on the app does kitty speak for you but let's get started i'll just be kitty for this episode hello kitten welcome to east paypal your very own kitty powers approved love village it might look a little sad for itself right now but you can turn it into a bustling paradise for loving couples but first we need to take down your particulars oh okay so let's tell kitty about ourselves so first name we are green eyed and last name is Jemsical. And my birthday is June the 26th, which makes me a Cancer. How should we portray you as a female, please? Ooh, which do you find most attractive? So you can choose men, women, or both. I'm going to go men. And I'm going to go with brown eyes. And I think probably black hair, to be honest. Ooh, there's quite a few different options. Yeah, we'll go with black hair. Are you a vegetarian? Well, I'm kind of a more or less a vegan, but we'll say yes to vegetarian. Do you believe in horoscopes? Not really, to be honest, no. Mm. What type do you feel you relate to the most? Ooh, we could go geeky, right? Uh, love science fiction, mm. fantasy, movies and video games. What about hippie? Alternative therapies and communing with nature. Spread. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe arty. Do you know what? I'm going to go hippie. That's what I'm going to do. Which type do you feel you might have a secret inner affinity with? Um, should we say geeky? Let's go geeky. Oh, and what would you like to look like? So you can pick someone or we can personalise it. Of course we're going to personalise. So let's make me. That's how I'd like to dress. Now it's time to probe the innermost depths of your personality. Oh, okay. So when you look at your body in the mirror, do you see room for improvement? Or are you okay with a bit of extra poundage? Uh, room for improvement, definitely. <laughs> Does the mention of the word exercise make you jump for joy or recoil in horror? I do like exercising, so we'll jump for joy. <laughs> if I said I booked your personal trainer, would you tell me it's a great idea or start sobbing uncontrollably? Great idea. I would love a PT, to be honest. Okay, now, now organisation. If you rule the world, would you rule with an iron fist or a velvet glove? Iron fist, I think. As far as cleaning goes, do you clean as you go or leave it until someone complains? Clean as you go. I'm definitely a bit of a yeah, clean freak. When it comes to doing your laundry, do you always iron everything and fold it neatly or just chuck it on the floor in a crumpled heap? Iron. Well, I don't iron everything, but I don't chuck it on the floor in a crumpled heap. I'm quite meticulous about folding it and things, so we'll go with iron everything. Oh, now on to social. If you're around town and see one of your neighbours, do you pretend you didn't see them and keep walking or rush over to find out how they are? <laughs> I'm ashamed to say that most of the time I would keep walking. That's so awful. <laughs> but I would keep walking. Would you describe yourself more as a shrinking violet or a party animal? I wouldn't say either, to be honest. Somewhere in the middle. So, uh, I mean... 
go for party animal. When you get in from a hard day at work, do you close the curtains and shut the world out? Or call some close friends to see what kind of a day they've had? Close the curtains. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, tradition. Do you ever feel nostalgic about the good old days? Or are you glad those days are over? Feel nostalgic. You've got to feel nostalgic about the good old days. <laughs> when it comes to vehicles, would you rather have a vintage car that needs a cranking handle to start it? Or a fully autonomous drone car? Drone car all the way. When choosing a holiday destination, is your main priority an authentic traditional experience or whether they've got decent Wi-Fi? Oh, that's such a difficult one because I kind of really like to have decent Wi-Fi when I'm on holiday. But I think traditional experience is more important to me, to be honest. Would you say you are more of an old romantic at heart or an unstoppable love machine? I would say an old romantic. When it comes to cooking, do you prefer gentle simmering on a low flame or flame grilled on full heat? I don't really understand that question. Full heat, I'm going to say. Would you rather hold hands on a moonlit walk or stay home and get fruity on the sofa? I think hold hands on a moonlight walk, that would be nice. Oh, so here we go, here's our little card. So after all that, this had better be correct. Oh, so I am active, methodical, an introvert, traditional, and romantic. That is correct, yes. I'll stick all your details onto your ID card so I remember your name. Oh, so this is my little, oh, I'm a registered love coach. Okay, so that is what, I don't really know that the point of this game at the moment, but I'm assuming it has to do with setting people up in some way. I'm a noob at the moment, and on that thing. If you need me, I'm just at the other end of the kitty phone. I'll even give you some coins to get you started because I'm generous like that. Thanks, Kitty. If you ever want to edit your avatar or check any details, just tap Kitty Towers on the map. That will take you to your lobby where you can view your info and fiddle with all sorts of other things. With that done, it's time to decide the first type of people that you want in your village. As you get promoted, you'll be able to advertise to different types. But let's keep it simple to start with. Oh, choose a website to advertise on. Should we? Let's go with, so I'm hippie and I think I want to do maybe glam. Should we go with glam? Yeah, are you sure you want to advertise to this type? Yes. Oh, so there's the compatibility. Uh. I feel like, do we need to know that maybe? I don't know, but let's advertise. Ooh, fleek show. Pink is the new black. <laughs> Glam types. Okay, there we go. Perfect. New couples who want to move to your village will appear in your black book, which you'll find in the lobby at Kitty Towers. You can examine a couple's information before deciding to move them in. However, I can barely contain my excitement. I've already built you a house and picked a couple that will get along well. Oh, okay. So we're going to match people up to live together, are we, I think? So meet Julia and April. Your first couple here in East Paypool. You can find out more about them by looking at the information in their profiles. Secret information is marked with a question mark. You'll have the chance to reveal it during their time in East Paypool, but for now, let's move these two lovebirds into a house. Also, we've got Julia Bunlake and April Nutsoul. Julia is a barista and April is a pizza delivery driver. Oh, they both like tiny portions. That's good. We don't know anything about their personalities. Ooh, a good habit of Julia's keeping in contact. We don't know their bad habits as yet. I'm sure we'll find them out. And I've no idea. Inner type, I have no idea. I've not seen that before. These are the ones we're all on Matchmaker. But I don't know what this inner type thing is. Or maybe it was on Matchmaker, but it wasn't on when I was playing it. Anyway, so let's choose these two and choose a house. So we've only got this one house, so... We'll go ahead and do that. Moving in. Well done, Greenoid. You did it. Now you can see what they get up to for the rest of the day by watching them on the map. Your love life coaching career starts now. I'm expecting great things from you, Greenoid. Residents get up to all sorts of things throughout the day. To find out what your first couple is currently up to, tap on their house. Oh, okay, so they're in. Tap on their house. Oh, they're moving in. Is what they're doing at the moment. Like eating tiny portions together. Ooh, getting jiggy together. Doing squats. Having something to eat together. Watching paint dry. <laughs> Ooh, 
While you've been supervising, your residents have been posting updates about what they've been doing on their kitty feed. Oh, take a look at the kitty feed tab, okay. Residents post all their thoughts and feelings on their kitty feed. It can be very useful when you need to find out what they've been up to or if you need to help them with any problems that they might have. Oh, let's have a little look. So Julia's posted, just been chowing on that classic Spanish dish, ensalada de pulpo with my girlfriend April. Oh, look, there's a little picture of it. Oh, woohoo, I love doing squats. My girlfriend Julia was doing squats as well, which is brilliant. I'm not the only one who likes doing squats. I do like her blonde hair as well. Oh, okay. My girlfriend April wants oh. us to get jiggy together at home. I love getting some spicy action. So maybe this is telling us a bit about them, do you think? Oh. That they're spicy, maybe? Um, like they like doing squats, so maybe they're more oh. active. Possibly. What do we do now? We just wait for time to pass. Oh, I just found out Kitty Powers is a real person. Oh, so these are all the pop-ups from the kitty feed. Time goes fast. Look at that. Oh, Tuesday the 13th of February. Six days to inspection. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to get inspected. You've got until the end of the first week before your first weekly inspection. I'll give you a nice financial bonus for every good deed that you do. So try to help your first couple as much as you can before then. Okay, we will do our best. I don't know how I help them at the moment though. It's the middle of the night. There's nothing that I seem to be able to do at the moment. Let's just click on them. They're sleeping. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Maybe nothing. Maybe I'll just wait for them to wake up. Oh, out of town. They've gone to work, I think. Julia and April have gone to work, yeah. Residents have to work so they can afford to pay the rent for their accommodation. In the meantime, you can use the fast forward button to speed things along. Speed it all up whilst they're working. Oh, oh look, oh what's happened? One of our, re our new residents has pressed their panic button. That means they require immediate assistance. You can choose to either help them or ignore them. But be warned, ignoring them might result in you missing out on a chance to make them happier. As it's the first time, we'd better help. So let's see what they want. So let's click on the button. What would you like to help with? Julia needs your help. What's the matter, Julia? Ooh, what's this? No friends? Oh. Ooh, here we go. Okay, so are we inside their house? I think we are. It's lovely spending quality time with you, darling. Totally is, honey. Super awesome to have something to eat together. Oh my god. What am I like going to talk about? Help me. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Spin the machine to drop some love eggs into the chute. You can pick one of the three topics mm. that pops out. Ooh, love eggs. If you don't like the look of any of them, you can always cheat to replace them with the love eggs in the reserve chute. It's time to release those love eggs. Let's release them. So these are all the topics. Oh, so we've got like... Okay, I think that I know that like their activity and their spiciness. So I think we should talk about one of those things. Because I think that they're both going to be active people. So let's, let's try that one. I think that might be a match. Babes, I was kind of wondering... If you were going to miss your train, would you... Sprint to the platform or just wait for the next train? Ooh, that's a bit of a deep, meaningful question. It really isn't, is it? <laughs> I'd have to say sprint. OMG, that's literally what I'd say. It's great that we share a similar outlook, isn't it? So oh, much, that's cool. I know, right? I feel like so lucky to be with you. We're both lucky, honey. Anyway, come on, let's carry on having something to eat. So we've got a little bar, I'm presuming maybe we have to get that bar up to the top, do we? I'm pretty sure that's what we have to do. OMG, me and April are like such a good match. Amaze balls. In the last hour, oh, all of these feed things are popping up. Oh, my girlfriend April asked me to have a cuddle at home. It's nice and everything, but I need more spicy action. Oh, okay. It was nice to do something romantic for a change, though, wasn't it? So maybe they're a bit different in the romanticness and spiciness and also what have i just read april says if only there was somewhere in east papal to go to karaoke i totally want to study interior design 
Okay, so maybe if we can build some new places, a karaoke place. Oh, let's click that. We've got some coins. Um, yeah, somewhere where they can do karaoke would possibly be a good thing. Or somewhere where they can uh, study. Oh, it's Wednesday. Wednesday the 14th, five days to inspection. Congratulations on completing another day, Green Eyed. You're doing a great job. So good, in fact, I've just unlocked the kitty box for you. Take a look by tapping the tab. Oh, we've got a kitty box. The kitty box gives you an overview of all your residents and the private messages they've sent you. Look, I've sent you one already. Tap my private message button to open it. Oh, so we got a message from Kitty. How exciting, Kitten, our very own private message inbox. I promise not to send you any unsolicited saucy pictures. In fact, I won't send you many private messages, but your residents certainly will. Ah. They'll message you whenever they have something important to tell you or want, to want you to arrange something for them. Make sure you pay attention to any new messages you receive. I will do that. Let's have a little look in this Kitty mm. feed. There's not much going on there, so we'll close that down. Maybe we'll fast forward it whilst they're sleeping. And have they gone to work? Oh. Yeah, they're off. Off from work at the moment, working. Oh, April's not very happy. I wonder why. Oh, back from work, and we've got a panic button. Oh. So Julia needs our help again. She still has no friends. It's mega nice to spend some time eating tiny portions together, isn't it, honey bunny? Sorry, honey, there doesn't seem to be any hot water. The boiler must be broken. Can you quickly check the pipes for me, please? Sure, I've seen videos on the internet about fixing boilers. Let's have a looky. Oh, difficult diameter difficulty is easy. That sounds good. Oops, the plumbing's playing up. You're going to have to help Julia fix it. A piece of pipe is missing. Memorise the shape that fits the gap. Once the grid disappears, you'll have to choose the correct piece in order to fix the plumbing. Okay, so it's like an up and then over to the left. Oh, look, it's telling us. So, <laughs> yeah, but there we go. Up and over to the left. There we go. We fixed the plumbing. Ooh. There. It's all fixed. Easy peasy. Mm. Oh, thanks, honey. I can have a lovely, hot, foamy bath later. Anyway, let's get back to eating tiny portions. Come on. Hi. Thanks, Greenoid. I have never fixed those pipes without you. Okay, so I think that kind of that is what we have to do. Do oh, what's that, Doctor? Doctor, Doctor. I feel like oh, some sort of joke. Um, I don't want to read that. My girlfriend Julia suggested we fool around at home. I love a bit mm. of spicy action. I love mm. fooling around with you too, babes. It's like mm. so totes excited. I think maybe they are both spicy. I don't know. Oh, couples in your village don't want to be stuck inside every day. They need places to socialise and explore their interests. So hopefully here we can build a karaoke. Which is why you should build a new location. To do so, you need to open the kitty shop. Do this by tapping on the shop button. Alternatively, you can simply tap an empty space inside your village. So, oh, okay, location... Oh, there's loads. Wellness centre, bar, nightclub. How much money have we got? Okay, we've got 520, so... Oh, lots of them are locked, so... We can't really build... What can we build? Oh, there's only the wellness centre that we can actually build with the money that we have, I think. Let's just check. Yeah, all of these are locked. Well, that's okay. We'll build... We'll just build the wellness centre. Seven coins a day, that's good. Who likes that? It doesn't... Yeah, a glam people love... Love the wellness centre, so that's good. Let's build it and choose an empty space. Okay, let's go there. Ooh, fancy. The residents have a new location to explore. Watch them as they move around East Papal. I think they'll go there. I hope so. Having something to eat together. Oh, look, Greenoid, you've received your first private message from a resident. Have a look and see what they want. Ooh, what do they want? Ah, it's from Julia. Judging by her love meter, I can have a good guess at what she wants. Let's open the message. Ah, yes, Julia is ready to propose to April. 
Tap the invite button to bring her to the office oh. and make the necessary arrangements. Oh, let's read the message. Hi Greenoid, me and my girlfriend April have been getting along like totes amazeballs, so I wanted to take things to the next level and get engaged. What do you think? Can you help me through it? I don't want to mess it up. Please get back to me soon. Let's click on the invite. This is the schedule screen. You can schedule an event up to seven days in advance. Scroll up and down and find an empty slot and then tap to confirm your choice and update the resident schedule. Oh, so today, can I, what, hmm, I don't think I can do it today, there's, is that where I want, nah, yeah, okay, let's go Thursday, and then as soon as she's home, actually, could we replace something, replace watching Mindless TV, let's replace, yeah, let's do that, 10 o'clock, that's a late meeting, right, never mind, oh, Julia has arrived, it's already 10 o'clock, Julia has arrived at Kitty Towers for her appointment, nice and prompt, isn't she? Scheduled events can't be skipped, so you've got to help your residents before continuing with your day. Mm. Let's help Julia plan her proposal to April. Mm. Let's click on it. Now that one of the residents is here in the lobby, you can invite them to, into the hot seat by selecting them and tapping on the hot seat button. Let's click on her. I totally need to talk to you about my relationship. Click on hot seat. And oh, here she is in the hot seat. Hey Greenoid, thanks for inviting me. What would you like to talk about? Uh, you proposing to your partner. Yup, me and April are getting on so well, I really want to propose. Are you ready to help Julia? Yes we are. Woo, let's totally start planning it right now. Where's the best place to, you know, propose to April? Uh, home or the wellness centre? I think probably at home, to be honest. Sure. And what would be the best time to propose to April? Can we do it? Ah. We can't do it today, surely. No, we can't do it today. We'll have to do it tomorrow. Instead, let, I know, look, instead of doing chores and scrubbing the toilet tomorrow at five, oh. let's propose then. That's basically it. OMG, I'm like yeah. totes excited. Ah. See you tomorrow when I basically oh. propose to April. Oh. Uh, that's all for now. Ogies, I'm going to do one. Thanks, Greenoid. Mm. There we go. We've set up their proposal. Mm. Like, how do we know if it's going to go well or not? Mm. No idea. Let's mm. speed it along. It's now Thursday, the 15th of February. Four days to inspection. So we just wait. Let's speed it up. Are they just sleeping? They're just sleeping. So let's speed it up. Until this evening when the proposal is going to happen. Is it five o'clock? No. Oh, it's time. Now it's time to guide Julia through her proposal. I hope you're ready, green eyed. Okay, so let's click on it. Let's help Julia propose to April. I hope it goes well. I'm nervous. I hope April says yes. I feel like she should. OMG, April is coming. I totally hope she accepts my proposal. So do I. Oh, there you are, honey. That's the progress wheel. It tracks your progress through proposals and other relationship events. Your goal is to get as many pink and green segments as possible before the event ends and the couple have to make their life-changing decision. Let's see how well you do with your first proposal. Ooh, I'm kind of nervous about this. Couldn't we have met up somewhere more interesting than our own house? Oh no, she's not happy about the location we've chosen. That's a red bar, no. Mm, I guess I should have met April somewhere she likes in town. Are you wearing the same outfit you were yesterday? Uh oh. I'm thinking getting a makeover might have been a good idea. Anyway, I'm in a fabulous mood. I'm like putty in your hands. Hey April, I've got something kind of important to say. Oh really Julia? Go on, I'm all ears. Well, babes, I've been thinking about you and me recently and ooh, match the personality trait so Julia says the right thing to April. Okay, we don't know any of the personality traits, but we'll give it a go. Say the right thing and you'll get a green segment on the progress wheel. Say the wrong thing and you'll get an orange segment. Oh dear. Seeing as you haven't revealed all of April's personality traits, you'll have to make an educated guess at the ones you don't know. 
Okay, let's let's give this a go. I can basically see. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna go cockerel. Always being woken up every day by the crowing of a cockerel. Oh no! I'm not, I'm really not sure about that actually. No, she didn't like that. I can pretty much see. Ah, uh, rabbits. Us being at it like rabbits the whole time. Hmm, I really like the sound of that, sweetie pie. Excellent. That's good. I can pretty much see. Oh, I don't think we've had any like clues on this. Let's say uh, lots of friends. Us having an enormous group of friends that we hardly know. Oh yes, that was right. That sounds incredible. I can't wait, darling. I can basically see. Um, jogging every day. Getting up at the crack of dawn to go jogging every day. I feel this should be right because they um, they like doing squats together. Oh, yes, darling. Yes, I can see it too. Excellent. Oh, actually, we, we knew that um, in that, what's it called, personality trait anyway, didn't we? I can totally see... Ooh, one long glorious schedule for the rest of our lives. Yes, darling, I share your vision. Excellent. Hmm, what I'm basically trying to say is, would you like, want to get engaged, April? Uh, okay, so what, this progress bar doesn't look so good. Ooh, Wheel of Destiny, okay. This is the magnificent Wheel of Destiny. It will decide the fate of Julia's proposal to April. Landing on a green segment will result in April saying yes. The same is true for a pink segment, but you'll also get a jackpot. A yellow segment will gently nudge the wheel onto the next segment that could be good or bad. And orange mm. segments will result in failure. Oh no, so we've got two orange. Meaning Julia and April will have to work their love meters back up again. Red segments always result in catastrophic failure. You really want to avoid them. Otherwise, Julia and April will be on the brink of breaking up. So we have got one red and two orange. So, yikes. Anyway, I'm sure you wouldn't let that happen, Greenoid. Let's give it a big spin. Okay, hopefully. Come on. Land on something good. Oh, we're going to get a jackpot. Oh, yes, jackpot. Nice. Yes, of course, Julia. I'd love to get engaged. <gasps> Babes, I'm like so happy. I totally love you. Oh, look, congratulations. Julia and April are now engaged. Oh, they're engaged and their love meter goes up like they go to the next level. Oh, we get some points. We're still halfway in the new oh. category. Due to that successful proposal, you've been awarded your first promotion points. Every time you improve a couple's relationship, you'll earn more. When you get enough promotion points, you'll level up and unlock new things. How exciting. Lovely job, Greenoid. Julia and April are engaged and well on their way to marriage. How exciting. Now they're more comfortable with each other, they might start exhibiting their bad habits. That could mean problems down the line. But don't worry, Greenoid. I'll be here to support you every step of the way. For now, you continue doing an excellent job and I'll get back to putting my feet up. Ah, oh, so I think kind of like that was... Can I pause it? How do I pause it? I don't know. I think... Oh, oh, get that. What's it called? Bird. Oh, no, look. In the last hour, April revealed her bad habit of staying up all night. But Julia is not that bothered that her fiancé April is staying up all night. Okay, so... I kind of think that is like the tutorial bit gone through let's have a little look here all these is like the tips and things and anyway there you go that is the end of the first episode i'm gonna end it here we've set up our first couple oh what's we can buy... hang on before we end i was just about to end but kitty's telling us something we can also buy utilities that help you run your village you'll unlock more things to buy as you get promoted so keep checking back let's just quickly have a little look there's lots of things there Oh, we can't build any more houses yet. We can't build anything yet. We haven't got any coins. But there you go. That is the first couple 
set up. I really like this game. Let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. And don't forget there is a link down there if you'd like to go ahead and get it yourself. But thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye.